Norris? Put that back. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to transfer the remains of my beloved Charlie from the dustbuster into the urn where they belong. Frida, I'm so sorry. Oh, she won't even talk to me. Oh, not again, Mary. Frida is deaf. She needs to be looking at your face to read your lips. Who keeps a dead dog's ashes in an urn? And it's obvious you've no need to whisper. Sorry. Mother kept Uncle Frank's ashes in a Tupperware box on top of the fridge, but my Aunt Constance mistook it for cat litter during a blackout, and then she took it down from the fridge uh, and... Uh, enough, Mary, enough. The one thing I've not missed is your ridiculous stories. Charlie was Frida's hearing dog. She was far more than just a pet. She was her constant companion. And, and now she... Well, she never goes anywhere without her. I thought you were in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course you did. Frida said you're on a silent retreat in Shepton Mallet, but there are no silent retreats in Shepton Mallet. And you being anywhere where you had to keep your gob shut more than ten minutes just seemed suspicious. And she said she was selling the house and I couldn't get through to you and she wouldn't give me a straight answer. And why haven't you been answering our messages? I was avoiding you. Charming. Why? And why send Frida to sell the house? Well, to avoid a, a scene like this for a start. And, well, I didn't want you two trying to talk me out of it. No, oh, when have you ever listened to me? Either of us. You sold the cabin without telling me. Yeah, yeah, well, that was a bit insensitive. I, I apologise. And so you should. You know how important that shop is to me. Well, well that's partly why I'm here. As soon as Frida left to sell this place, I, I realised I was making the same mistake over again, just burying my head in the sands, being a coward. And, and, and besides, I, I knew I'd regret not seeing this place again. Didn't see it again? What are you planning? To join a cult in Outer Hebrides? Well, close. Edinburgh. What do you want to go live in Edinburgh for? Uh, and what about us? Y your best friend and your wife? Couldn't you be faffed to see us one last time? I wanted to see you both. Of, of course I did. Though not necessarily grappling on the street with my fiancé. Fiancé? Frida? Yeah. So I think we should get this divorce started as soon as possible. Oof. Quite the homecoming you were expecting. Oh, well, I, I did warn you about Mary. Uh, you can't blame her, I suppose. Me turning up out of the blue like that. Yeah, well, well you see, I asked you to uh, come and sell this place for me because she had, had a lot of memories here. And I, I wasn't sure I could do it on my own. And now you're here? Well, like I say, there's a lot of memories. <laughs> If we are going to get our own place, Norris, you have to sell this house. Oh, I know that. I know that. And you have to divorce Mary. Oh, oh no problem with that, believe me. <laughs> I'll make another put. I know it's a big step, moving away from here, getting married. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm. 